Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another Gonzales Science Update for the week of January 11th. So I like to start with a review of blooms um, because this is something that really will help you keep up with what your child is doing in science. Uh, clicking on your child over here will show you how they are doing every week. Uh, at the end of the week, I see how many assignments your child has done, how caught up they are, how, how they've been doing with their science work. And this is what you want to see. You want to see the, the participating, getting work done, uh, turning in homework on task. These are the things you want to acknowledge your child for and say, hey, good job. And then you can celebrate that weekend uh, to encourage your child to keep that up, those great habits. If your child's getting the reds, like science assignments not done this week, I gave that this week to kids who um, didn't turn anything in and didn't give me anything to look at. Because some kids didn't turn anything in because they were working on it, but I got to see it and give them feedback. For many kids, I recorded a short video of feedback so they can pause it and rewind it instead of having to listen to all of it at once over a Google Meet and then hopefully remember, which they're not. Who can? Um, but if it says still needs to complete three assignments to get caught up, that, that's three out of eight. I've had the same eight assignments since middle or beginning of November. Uh, so if your child hasn't completed all eight science assignments, they're either struggling and not asking for help, which is not very many kids, um, or they're just not working. They're not doing their science. I can only hope they're at least doing their math and, and English language arts social studies, but it would be ideal if they could do all three, a little bit of all three every day. That's the schedule we put out for them. So check their eggs and let them know how they're doing. Touch bases with them. Um, also, the link I give you to my weekly update tells you what the eight assignments are. So these are them. And the teach it is the big one. That's the last one. They do that and then they're ready to share their learning with their classmates. Some of them are creating videos. Some of them are creating Google Slides. Some of them are doing podcasts, animations. This is great because they get to choose how to share their learning. And then I get to see uh, what they learn and they get to show their classmates. Now you've probably seen this, many of you, this is what Classcraft looks like. And they go to what we call quests. And this is the quest we're working on. These are the eight assignments that are due from environmental stewardship. Uh, so right now, kids, these are what a quest looks like. And when they click on it, like for example, Watershed, which a lot of kids still have to do, uh, has instructions. Tells them what to do. I put pictures of what kids has already done. This is one that's hands on. Uh, so I really am wondering why kids aren't doing this one. They get to actually do something with their hands. <laughs> so encourage your kid to do it. Then it gives them the task and it tells them what to do to turn it in and get it approved. You know, you've probably heard it from uh, Mr. Brennan and Miss Berg. Some kids are turning in assignments to tell you they turned something in, but they didn't do anything. So when you hear from us, it's like, well, your child didn't do anything. And you're like, but my, my child told me she turned all this work in. Uh, so that's what you need to check in with. If your child's turning in work and it's not done, then you know how to proceed. Uh, if you're seeing the positive behavior on blooms, then at least you know you can celebrate uh, with your child. Now, the sample schedule and if you want a copy of this, I, I do have it linked on here. If you click on the title, Room 410 Science Assignments and Tasks, you can scroll down to all the previous weeks. And yeah, I have it on last week's uh, update. I have a link to the schedule. So you can say, hey, look, this is what your teacher says you're supposed to be working on. So if you're away from home, you can message your child. I, I mean, if you have time, don't, don't think I'm trying to put more on your plate. Uh, but if your child is not getting work done because they're playing games or watching YouTube, you could say, hey, you're supposed to be working on one of your subjects right now. And, you know, they, we, we do want them to get up and move around. Plus, they have PE uh, assignments from Mr. Meacham 
for Mondays and Thursdays specific, but they can do it every day. We want kids to be healthy. And, and Wednesday, a lot of kids are sleeping in and they're not getting their work done. And we want them to be flexible. If you sleep in, well, then you might have to work a little later so you don't fall behind. And kids who aren't taking attendance, you're getting mad at them and then calling the school saying, why did you mark my kid absent? They know how to take attendance. It's very simple. They have a short attendance task for all three teachers and they have work to do every day. So if we mark them absent, your child is not even filling out our attendance forms and they're not doing any work. So how could we possibly mark them present? So if they get marked absent, uh, tell them, fix it. They know how. And if they're telling you, uh, oh, I don't know, don't believe them. You heard it from me. You can show them this video. Kids, you know. We tell you every morning uh, in our morning Zooms what to do so you don't get marked absent. And if they're not going to our morning Zooms and they're not going to our afternoon Zooms, whew, you should know. You should ask us if your kid has missed any. I have a record of every child that has showed up to every Zoom, so I can help you with that. So, I, I mean, I'm here to help. Um, as we finish up our remote only and get ready to come back to face to face, I want your child to be successful and I want to help you uh, to make your life a little easier. You know, leave the teaching to me and you worry about making sure your kid has the time and space to work. We provide the computers. Hopefully internet is working. And um, yeah, I'm hoping they, they succeed. That's what we want for your child. So have a great week. Uh, message me on Blooms if you have any questions. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next Monday.